Everybody, this is Sheets and Happy New Year to you. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video on the uh, January 1st hockey slate tonight. I hope to do more of these, but just from a timing perspective, it's always difficult to find time to do a hockey one, uh, but I will do more of them. Uh, this is New Year's Day, and uh, I am stuck in my office today, my home office, because um, this past Wednesday, I contracted COVID, finally. Um, just impossible to avoid in this part of the country. Nonetheless, uh, I'm feeling much better already. It's just kind of, for me, fortunately, it, it only manifests itself as kind of a pretty bad, you know, pretty nasty cold, which is already starting to subside. I actually feel as though I only have another day or so of symptoms in me, and then I'll be healthy. And then most fortunately, uh, nobody in my family got it as well. So we're all in good shape. So I figured I'd try my voice out a little bit and uh, do kind of a quick hockey breakdown using my sheets uh, for today's slate. Um, so as usual, uh, I like to rank these by sheets value score, which is even though hockey is one of the sports where projections matter the least, uh, I do feel as though you have to start somewhere. So if you start with a good baseline projection, at least when you do run it through Saber, Sam, or Rota Grinders, or HQ, or Fantasy Cruncher, or just hand build, you know, you at least have something to start with. And then when you start correlating and putting your, you know, your, your lines and your stacks together, you can at least have at least some idea of, of what looks to be a good play. So first thing I'll look at, if I sort these by sheets value score, you'll see that that Austin Matthews rates to be kind of the best play. And I wouldn't say it's the best play by a huge margin. I mean, take the goalies out for a minute. I mean, it's only a five point drop to the next guy, Kevin Fiala, who, you know, not that he's competing for the same amount of fantasy points as Austin Matthews, but just to show you that Austin Matthews is not any kind of lock or anything like that. So um, if you don't want to play him at 47% ownership, I certainly won't blame you. Um, he does rate to be the best play, but, you know, I don't see a lot of other Toronto um, rated to be good plays to stack him with. So you could play him as a one-off, but I've been told by people who know more than me about playing this sport, that playing these high-priced guys as one-offs is not usually the way to do it. So it's possible that I might end up just fading him, but we'll see. Next thing I look at before we get into these other players is the goalies, because what I like to do and my philosophy with goalies is you want to take the lowest scoring, I mean, the lowest salary viable goalie on the board. And fortunately, it looks as though one of the better values is also one of the lower price guys on the board. That'd be Jonathan Quick or Cam Talbot. Um, there's really no difference between them in value score. There's very little difference between them in ownership. So you could just pick one of these guys and just kind of be on your way. As a matter of fact, you want, you want to do this? You want me to try to try to build along the way? You know, that always worked out to be kind of a train wreck when I tried to do that. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, it was going back and forth and, and no one was following along. So we're just going to go through this and you can build these on your own. So I like Jonathan Quicker, Cam Talbot. Now the next thing you want to do this is what I do. So I like to find like kind of a, a group of guys near the top from the same team. And that is just a fancy way of saying that I, I want to find a good stack. Okay. Now, the first thing I noticed, now the first thing I do notice is that Kevin Fiala is probably the best value play on the board. And although he's not paired with anybody, I could probably use him as a one-off. So, you know what? I am going to try this. And forgive me if this turns out to be a train wreck, but we're going to do it anyway. So, goalie, who did we say we're going to play? Um, is it quick? Let's put it quick for now. Let's put in the other guy, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Well, let's put, let's put in Talbot. Now, let's put in Fiala as the highest, as the best overall value. One of the reasons why is because you do have a little bit of correlation here, right? Your goalie with your, with one of your, your skaters. Now I want to make sure that I don't have too much St. Louis opposing the goalie, right? As, as reaching out to be good plays. 
And good, I don't. So the next thing I see, and as I'm looking at this, is like a whole, there are a whole bunch of Philly, you know, a whole bunch of Vancouver. Look at all four of these guys just piled in here. So here's something else I'm noticing. I'm noticing overall that pricing on the slate looks really soft. It doesn't look like there's a lot of guys. So they're highly priced that are going to project well. So, I mean, for me, let's take, a, let's, let's take a look at this again here. Yeah, I mean, overall, you could probably play that, like Austin Matthews if you want without it costing you too much. Like, let's just say you did want to play Austin Matthews, like even by himself. I mean, 4,700 a player or a skater. You look in here and, and you, you know, you can see there's a whole bunch of guys, you know, whether it be these Philly guys, whether it be these Vancouver guys. So maybe that is a good idea. Maybe what I can do is play maybe these four, maybe these four Vancouvers with, no, I can't do all four Vancouvers with Matthews because that takes up two center, you know, three center spots. But I could certainly play, well, let's, you know what, just for fun, let's see if we can stack all these Toronto guys. I'd, I'd, be, I'd, I'd feel really dumb if I couldn't do it. So let's use um, Marner, Matthews, and you want to put Tavares in too? Just a hell of it. Marner, Matthews, and Tavares. So you want to put all these guys. Actually, you could play all three centers, couldn't you? Now, if you did this, that left you 3,500 a person, 3,500 a guy left. I mean, I thought I saw a whole bunch of guys you could play. And some of them from the same team here. So you have McCann, Johansson, no, just two Seattle guys. Let's just see if we did McCann and Johansson from Seattle. We can eleven forty six hundred. Oh no wonder. What are these salaries? Wait. So, are these salaries wrong? I have Johansson at twenty seven hundred on Seattle. Is that not correct? I've got to find my, this is why it's a disaster. Yeah, there he is, 2,700. It was not McCann. It was McCann and Johansson. Sorry about that. So you could do this, and now you got two cheap defensemen and, two, and a utility. Let's see what that looks like. Doesn't look like defenseman or so great. You have Sandine, he's from Toronto too. And then Wallenin. See what that looks like. Sandine. In Toronto. You can do this pretty easily, right? Now, if you want to get fancy, you could do Wallenin. You could, you could pair him and use Quick instead, right? Now you got a $5,400 guy you could use in the utility. And, you know, you can just search for a good one. So that is some, this is one thing you can do on today's slate because you have all that good value. As a matter of fact, I mean, we didn't even use Fiala here. You can just plow him in if you wanted and then upgrade somewhere. Now, the one thing I haven't taken into consideration is, is these guys, how these guys correlate. But I do know that Matthews, Tavares, and 
Marner, at least you have good power play correlation. So you're, you're doing well there. So you have a 4-2-2, two, two, actually a 4-2-1 with the goalie. This is one way you can build. This leaves 1,000 on the table too, which very few people are going to do. So turns out you can play all these Toronto guys if you want to. And that's probably why they're going to be probably pretty popular. Let's go through some of these other guys and see if there's some, anything else that we can come up with. Now, I mentioned the Vancouver guys. So let's, let's put these guys in and see what that does for us. So you have the four. So you have Pedersen, Horvath, Chieson, and Pearson. So let's put all four of those guys in. Now again, I can never remember. All the guys. Let's try it. So it was Horvath. Oh, let's get these guys out. Horvath, Pedersen, Pearson, and Chieson. So if you did that, for example, now you have 8,000 a man. Now, for example, you could play Austin Matthews if you want, like, frighteningly easily, right? Boom. And then you could play... You could correlate him. You could use that Sandine dude over here. You could put another Vancouver guy. Let's go back to this. You could pay up for some of these. There's really just nobody to pay up for here. Arvidsson, he's somebody you could pay up for. I, you know, so let's put him in. Pay up for him easily. And, you, and he's, he's paired with quick. You can do that. Now you can pay up for defense, which I know a lot of people like to do. So if you want, you can play around and you can sort by defense and see what looks good. It doesn't look like anybody's that great to pay up for. I mean, pay for Giordano. He looks pretty good, I suppose. And Shabbat. So this is one of those slates you can play pretty much wherever you want. But I do like this idea of playing all these Vancouver guys. You know, that becomes kind of a good stack. So what I want to do and what I'm going to want to do is go back, resort by value score, resort by team. Do it the other way. And see who else reads to be pretty good over here. Is there a defenseman? Quinn Hughes or Myers, they're, they both look good. Doesn't really matter which one, so I'll use Quinn Hughes. And again, I'm going to confirm that these guys correlate well. If not, I'm going to have to you know, mix this up a little bit. But um, you, know, you, could, you could upgrade your goalie if you want. If you have this kind of, uh, kind of latitude, you could upgrade your goalie with, with, with ease. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we just want to do goalie. But you're not even gaining anything. Like he's not really rated to get that many more fantasy points. So maybe just leave a 1,000 on the table, like I was saying before. So th that's what I like to do. Um, now, now what, what's fun is... I'm going to run a SaberSim um, build using my projections Oops. to see if, see if the keyboard works. See what kind of lineups SaberSim would produce given these, I don't want to say restrictions, but given these, um, oops given my projections and see if they even come close to some of the lineups that I was kind of fiddling around with. Cause it's interesting that it usually, they usually don't. I'm going to take a look and see though. Okay. Uh, we got to make sure Mitchell Warner's playing obviously. So we will upload this, and you can do this from, from right from the website, by the way. Here 
boom. I don't want these and let's just build, let's build just their normal sliders. Now, you know, let's get a little, a little less randomness than that. And let's just see what kind of ownership kind of comes out given, given the projections that I've assigned to it. I want to see if I did a decent job of at least building a lineup, if anything looks like it. Now, again, what they're doing here is simulating results and simulating games. So you're going to get some much more, you know, upside type lineups when you have a SaberSim -like, uh, type optimizer do it for you, which is why I rely on SaberSim to build upside lineups for me rather than me just eyeballing the projections and doing them by hand. Because again, I don't simulate the outcomes. I just have medium projections. I mean, you have to have a simulator that will give you like kind of your ceiling, you know, or at least a good distribution of your ceiling if you want to play GPPs. If you want to play cash, you can use my projections, optimize and roll. But yeah, so this is, as I mentioned, I mean, you could be able to get these Marner, Matthews, Tavares lineups really easily. Well, with Fiara, this one uses other cheapos, but that's basically the idea. Okay. All right, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. And again, I will try to do more hockey, just you know, as time permits. Um, good luck, everybody.